The biomarkers in Cardiology 8 trial demonstrated that a combination of troponin and copeptin to triage patients with suspected acute coronary syndrome can increase the rate of early, safe hospital discharge. We did a process study, so we compared the standard process, which is done with serial troponin and ECG measurements, compared to an experimental arm where we measured copeptin in addition, and we saw that the event rate was nearly the same in both groups. And in this non-inferiority study, we showed equivalence. And uh, with respect to efficacy, we saw that we could release 66% of patients in the biomarker groups early, compared to only 12% in the standard group. Saver Timmy 53 was a trial of diabetic patients randomized to saxagliptin or placebo. And the goal of the study was to evaluate the safety on cardiovascular outcome. 16,492 type 2 diabetic patients at high cardiovascular risk were randomized in this trial, which had a median follow-up of 2.1 years. Cardiovascular death, MI, stroke rate in the trial was the primary endpoint, and that between the two arms met the FDA criteria for non-inferiority. The hazard ratio for saxagliptin versus placebo was exactly one. Having said that, we did find a statistically significant, albeit small, absolute excess in the rate of hospitalization for heart failure, which was increased by 0.7% in the saxagliptin versus placebo arm. Uh, the guidelines want to be extremely practical, friendly, uh, clinically oriented. The broadly uh, part uh, of the document is seen that the most important uh, is the new classification of blood indication in two categories based on the electrocardiographic initial presentation of the patient. As regards uh, cardiac synchronization therapy, a lot of randomized trials have been published in this uh, recent year, and we could uh, merge uh, the result of this trial in precise recommendations. Nations may rise and fall but an idea lives on. So antiarrhythmic drugs remain very important therapies, but uh, they are not in themselves sufficient to manage patients with underlying significant cardiovascular disease. In the future, we will see many new antiarrhythmic drugs. We haven't found a really good one yet, but the search continues, and we're looking for one that will not only be safe, but also effective. Give me surrender To urge me I'll pick and choose Keep in this clever Be sure not to miss Best of ESC 2013 on Thursday, September 12th.